Almost three feet in diameter and a body tough enough to survive a run-in with a forklift, this is no ordinary fan. It's an industrial fan. They're designed to circulate air in large spaces like warehouses and factories. Production starts with the motor. A worker slides the fan's aluminum hub onto it. Then he inserts wing-like blades known as airfoils into notches in the hub. Using a hammer, he taps the ends to set them in the hub. He places a part known as a taper lock into a hole in the center. The taper lock will fasten the motor shaft to the hub. He screws the lip of the lock to the hub. Next, he installs a glass-reinforced plastic cone on the hub. This one secures the ends of the blades in the hub. He snaps a cap onto the center of the nose cone. Now, he transfers the motor and hub assembly to a mount that's in a heavy-duty plastic ring. He adds an upper mount and screws it to the lower one. He trims the outer ring of the fan with rubber molding. The rubber will reduce vibration noise. He lowers a steel yoke onto the plastic surround and attaches it with a screw. He wires a speed control mechanism to the fan motor and fastens it to the outside of the plastic surround. He installs a plate with a control knob on the front of the speed control mechanism. He screws on two metal screens to the fan's yoke. This forms a safety cage around the fan. A two-person crew bolts a wheeled pedestal to the stem of the fan. It's now ready to circulate. To make an industrial ceiling fan, they use long aluminum airfoils. Their wing-like profile will generate lift to produce more air. A punch cuts holes to assemble them to a hub. A worker then attaches the main fan assembly to the end of a long post in order to facilitate the installation of the long airfoils. Then slides the airfoils onto spars that protrude from the hub. He reinforces the installation with boomerang-shaped metal retainers. High-strength bolts secure the retainers and airfoils to the spars. He attaches plastic winglets to the ends of the airfoils. The winglets will direct air downward. He installs a trim ring on the hub. This completes the assembly of the industrial ceiling fan. From this vantage point, it seems pretty cool.